I just got to tell you guys, we have Twitch emotes. So if you want to use these, please go check out my Twitch link in the description. It takes you two seconds to go down there and press the follow button and sub offline if you want to. Look at these adorable emotes. Only three of them can be used right now. These three, woo! The rest of these cannot be used right now because we only have three emote slots. So if you would like to use these adorable emotes, please go press the follow button and sub if you really want to. And we just have the brand new ones come in too. Cocopium, Tepe, and Yaimiko emote that I would love for y'all to be able to use. But unfortunately we can't right now because we only have three emote slots. Very copium. So please go follow my Twitch. Thank you. On to the video. Hey everyone, it's me, the Otaku Fego here to continue my Fate Grand Order Lost Spell number three Let's Plays. Last time we learned that uh, Hinako might not be entirely human or something, and I'm like, eh? like, what the fuck? I don't really understand what that means, and lots of other things that we probably just got on the Emperor's bad side, possibly. So that's bad. But, uh,. Let's continue, shall we? <laughs> oh god, alright. So we're fighting a berserker. Okay, cool. Apparently. Um, hmm. No, we're gonna do this. Because I just got an MP2 Jolter from my GSSR, so fuck yeah, I'm gonna use her. Hell yeah. Okay, so let's just, uh... Go. <laughs> let's fucking go. Section 9. Morning Star Rebellion Pog Poggy Woggy Froggy Doggy. Also, if you like to get blah, blah, blah. if you guys would like to support me and support the channel, there's a Patreon link in the description. Any tier you donate to, great, that's not good. Uh, <laughs> we'll get you access to my dear Discord server. It's gotcha related. Check it out, link in the description. And uh, sub to the channel. It's free, absolutely free. Hit that sub button. All right, because a lot of you people who watch my videos aren't subscribed. So yeah, all right. Emergency, emergency, Spartacus is no longer with us. What? Oh! That's not all. A number of villagers have gone missing. Oh, that's weird. The ones who remained said they saw Spartacus leading the. Uh. Why? What? The Emperor sees that filthy- oh, fuck. What is wrong with that muscle-bound moron? How could he do this? Hey, Berserkers ain't exactly much for thinking or planning. Sparty just being true to himself. Hell, he couldn't change who he is even if he wanted to. <sighs> do something, Sarah! Your records mentioned him obeying that Roman. If... Huh? Where Rome. Rome. Like, what are you? I don't know. Uh, okay, Nero. So I thought you were talking about Romani. I'm like, what? Um, that was between Nero and Spartacus, not me. <sighs> What's with that knowing look? What are those command spells here? <laughs> See, this is why I don't like guard off. Okay. This may be the moment of truth, Miss Sarah. Forming a contract with the unruly berserker inevitably means using command spells to keep them in check. You may not care for that idea, but it is something you will need to come to terms with sooner or later. True. It is frankly miraculous you've come this so far without ever, ever having to force your servants to obey. True! I would like nothing more than to respect your wishes, but I'm afraid that... Hold up! Mordred. You're not gonna make Sparty toe the line just by forcing him to stop with the command spell. All that I'll do is just root him in place. So please, Master. Whatever you do, don't use a command spell on him. If you do, you might end up forgetting his whole reason for leaving the throne to come here and help. Oh, no! Oh. Can you let me handle him, Master? The 
I'm sure I can convince him to stop. Can you though, Mordred? Can you really? Or might that be? How do you think? I beat the ever living shit out of <laughs> I mean, okay. You see, it's his legs and stuff that keeps him going. As long as they're, those are telling him to fight, he's not going to stop for anything. So, we just hit him so hard that his knees give out. Then he'll get through this, his, the, the, then we'll, he'll get through his thick skull, or knees, that the battle's over. Uh, are you quite certain that would be better than a, than a command spell? Positive. I'll give you the Mordred guarantee. I confess that even I cannot see the logic that here. What do you think, Miss Sarah? This is ultimately your decision to make. I'm counting on you, Mordred. Hell yeah! Don't worry, I've got this! Oh, oh. I'll go with you. I think I may be partly to blame for the villagers' decision to join him. Are you sure, Miss Junkei? Wouldn't you rather be there leading the way with him? Truthfully, yes. I honestly kind of envy him getting out to ma getting to materialize as a berserker. Berserker or Junkei won. <laughs> because he can throw caution to the wind, caution at the wind, and do whatever he feels like in any given moment. Nope. Because he, even though he is a berserker, he's got such a good master. As a rogue spirit myself, I can't help but feel a little jealous of that. Nelsa, hold down the fort. The borders are lifeline here, so make sure you don't let anything happen to it. Leave it to me, I await your return. Okay, everyone, let's go bring Spartacus back and the villagers back. Let's do that, because yeah. <laughs> Hey, Spartacus, are you sure about this? I thought we weren't supposed to leave our village's fields. Yes, I am. No system, no ethics, no laws. Can uh, ever stop one from walking about freely. One's path always lies ahead, and wherever you, your own two feet take you. I don't know. We were taught that the Heavenly Emperor gave us those fields as a gift of love. If the authorities wish to call their oppression love, then it is only right you return their love in the form of rebellion! I don't think I understand. No matter, you will come to understand as we continue our walk. Now, the oppressors cap to the oppressor's capital! The capital where Heavenly Emperor lives, huh? Come to think of it, I heard it's got something called art. Art. Is that anything like those poems Jin K's been sharing with us? I want to hear lots of poems, and I want to see what the capital looks like too. Well said. Well, let us be on our way, young Midoriya, <laughs> singing songs of liberation all the while. Hold it, hold it. Did you really think we were gonna let you do this, you freaking dumbass? Don't you think it was a touch rude to just wander off without so much as a goodbye? If that is the antidote for Sarah that concerns you, rest assured, I will bring it back after seeing those responsible brought to justice. If you doubt that I am doing the right thing, then merely sit and await my return. Well, I must give this Queen Shiwang and the oppressor the, the, fuck. The firm Race he deserves. I already know the Emperor is at Zhang Yang. All that remains now is to continue onward until I reach this great oppressor. Please stop this, Spartacus. I can understand why you have doubts, Miss Sarah, Master Sarah, whatever. After all, you have yet to attain that real strength for yourself. All the more reason why I must go to show my example of what true justice is. As such, I will not hesitate to crush anything that stands in the way of, in my way, with true rebellious love. Yep, I knew it. You ain't gonna listen to a word we say. Yep, time for my genius plan. 
If you won't listen to reason, we'll just have to beat it into him. Come on, Spartacus. Let's see you and me get hash things out. Okay. Fighting Spartacus. This is gonna be interesting, that's for sure. Alright. Oh, right, these are sealed. Alright. It's like, oh yeah, these are sealed. Huh. Spartacus, why are you doing this, bruh? Oh god, okay. Um, I see, I see, I see, okay. Do this. Nice. I'm seeing what I can pull off here. So go a cabemona to Shiromona. This is my Hajimarino Sora. Thomas, you know, I'll call me say, Oka. Not in the Lavaro. So don't got a bit of a line that come. Please stop. Perfect. Perfecto. 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 So go a cademona to Shiromona. This is the Hajimarino Sora. Thomas, you know, I call me say, Oka. Garden of Lavaro. Namena. Okay, uh, let's see what happens. I forgot what his MP does, if anything. <laughs> Okay, I've actually- I don't think I've ever seen his MP come to think of it. You know? Weirdly enough, I don't think I've ever seen his MP. Big strong Jalter. Coming at ya. Big strong Jalter. MP2 Jalter. Very strong. Nice. 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 If, if, if it was leveled up more, I'd probably try to use it, but honestly, I think we'll be okay here. So let's go. <laughs> I 
Uh, if it was leveled up more, maybe I'd use it, yeah, but not so, it's fine. Mordred, I thought you said you were going to make his knees give out or some such. Yeah, what of it? His knees aren't giving out at all. If anything, hitting him is only getting him more fired up. Honestly, it's kind of creeping me out now. Uh, now what? Yeah, I know, this is so much fun, right? He's gonna will to fight out the wazoo! Uh, I knew it. You actually are a berserker too, aren't you? <sighs> Aha! What a thrill! This adversity! This pain! I can feel the indomitable strength welling up within me! You can do it, Spartacus! Um, why are Spartacus and the others arguing again? Uh, beats me. Uh. If this keeps up, he won't last much longer, Master. Um. Honestly, it's already rough. I'm starting to get feverish. It's no use. They don't even remember they're draining Master's magical energy. Oh, yeah. Uh, can we stop, guys? The way they're going, Sarah's going to end up collapsing before either of them. Damn it! Stop! Stop! This is no time for fighting! We have an emergency! What? Vo, vo, vo! Nesha! And Vo, what are you two doing here? What's going on? You're supposed to be keeping watch. Uh, uh Oh no. Uh betrayed us. She stole the border. Holmes told me to keep this thing safe. Spirit origin graph. Then they really did take the border. Great. That's not good actually. What the hell? You just let the waltz in and steal our home base? How could you let this happen? Stop it, Mordred. Nezha wanted to stay and fight just as much as any w you would have. But Holmes decided it was more important to make sure the spirit origin grass stayed with Sarah. Indeed! Well, I imagine the enemy must have used the shadow border itself as a shield! The common tactic of oppressors to respond to rebellion is to destroy what the rebels wish to protect. I need a drink of water. The hell are you being so calm for? I thought you were all worked up. Oh, oh! Unfortunately, we can't use the spirit origin graph by itself in this lost belt. Without the land's ley lines responding, there just isn't enough electricity to power it. I'm afraid not. Losing the border really is a tremendous blow. Even Da Vinci's tricks had to be performed inside it to work. Uh, Huang, can you hear me? We can. This entire land is our garden. The noise or tumult within our escape will it, within escapes our notice. I thought we had a deal. Indeed, we did. And you were, we were, and we were a god. Our world would be absolute, and were we a god. However, we are not a god, but human, and the ruler of this land. It is only natural that we would value our nation over a bargain. Thus, now that we know that you are a threat to our people, we have no compunctions about taking your shadow border and wiping all of you out. A threat? What do you mean? Did we do something to the villagers? We see. So you are either oblivious or unconstrained. That you lot truly are disciples of Confucius. I don't want to say that word. Ah, now I get it. 2200 years later, and you haven't changed a bit. No, if anything, you've gotten worse. What do you mean, Jinkei? Huang's mad that I went around teaching people to read and write. That's why we're getting slapped with the Confucian label. Confucians? Confucians? Confucianism. I think it's Confucianism. I could be fucking wrong, but 
Confucianism is all about five virtues, justice, courtesy, wisdom, and knowledge, and benevolence. It extols poetry, manners, and entertainment. And Huang, the tyrant the, that the emperor is, hates everything about it. Our people live their lives in blissful ignorance. You and your conf Confucianism have led them astray. Confucianism is a mainly disease in you, it's ex epic center. We must cut you out like a tumor, lest you spread further. Are you truly so terrified of your citizens gaining knowledge, tyrant? Knowledge leads to doubt. Once people are trapped by such delusions, they inevitably begin comparing themselves to others and resent the world itself. Without such wicked individual e egotism, this world can be paradise everlasting. It is through ignorance that our people live their lives in peace and health. And you arrogant Confucians would no annoying would anno would knowingly go about ruining that. Blech. So what? You want to keep your people from learning anything so it's easier to rule them? Why should we give two shits about that water? Confusions run rampant in your world. How long has it ever remained peaceful? Humans who gain knowledge inevitably come to believe they are better than everyone else, which leads only to woe, and all that creates is grief and sorrow. That is why such worlds cry out in such agony as to counter create a counterforce in the form of heroic spirits. We shiver just imagining such a hell. Do you disagree? Go on then. Tell us how your world is so wonderful in the way people from all walks of life can share in the mutual bonds of misery. I... We suppose we could have tricked you out of your shadow border through the more cunning means, but our disgust got the better of us. We must obliterate you and ensure that no trace is left behind. Great. We're fucked. Zang you! Kuaji Zero, we have new orders for you. Destroy every last one of the Confucians. As you wish, you. Hey, Sarah. Should I apologize to you for taking pity on these people? Uh. Maybe it wasn't the best move, but it wasn't wrong either. Right. That's exactly the path we've made for ourselves. We own up to our mistakes and do our best to make them right. That means we can compromise and even forgive each other. And that is the one thing this world will never, ever have. Okay, let's fight him. Oh, Lord have mercy. Right. <laughs> Oh boy, this is gonna be interesting. This will be interesting, I'm sure. Oh, come on, Cleo. Like, really, Cleo? Really? Ah. Really, Cleo? It's like, really, Cleo? Okay. Oh god. Okay. I'm gonna need this to stop right now. Like, I'm gonna need that stopper right now. Oh, nice. Yeah, he would have died there. He definitely would. 
Okay, good. Woo. Close call there. Close call. Okay! Yikes! 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 Not gonna lie, kinda scared. Kinda scared. Not gonna lie, kinda scared. I'm scared. Nice. Okay. They're dead. Now we just have this problem. Now we just have this problem. Oh boy. Oh no. Well, there goes Waver. Like, well, there goes Waver. <laughs> okay. Okay, pretty pog. <laughs> pretty pog there. Nice. Okay. Whew. Thank God. Uh, the, uh, okay. Thank God. Oh yeah. Okay. We're fighting him for real this time. I'm pretty sure. I'm scared. All right. So we're gonna go. This fight's gonna suck ass, but whatever. I can tell this fight's gonna suck really hard. But man, this thing's seriously tough. Our attacks aren't even phasing him. How strange. The strength is not due to hardware dif uh, differences. Uh huh. Now I see what's going on. He's reading our moves before we th we make them. The hell? None of my old man's intuition is that much of a pain in the ass. I'm sure this is no ordinary skill of reading one's opponents. It's closer to precognition. I calculate that your destruction is inevitable. Uh, look. Resign yourselves, barbarians. Bullshit! You could really see the future. You know there's no way in hell that we'd ever give up without a fight! Indeed, that is why I predict you will soon face further hardships. Whoa, what now? Oh great, allow me to assist you, Lord Zen Yu. Prince of Landling, Hakata, you're here too? Right. This time, Mash and Sarah, I will kill both of you. Oh. Here we thought you would be sulking, yet it seems you have come to serve us once again, Akita Hinako. Now that you understand the threat that Kalia poses, Your Imperial Majesty, I'm happy to follow your wishes. Well, now we see. You are determined to not let us die new fight alone. How inconsiderate of us. Very well, have at it. But be warned, there is little time left. Do not bother killing them. All you need to do is hobble them. Yes, good point. Understood. Oh shit! These guys working together again is the last thing we needed! And we can't afford to take our time with them, or we'll never catch up to the Shadow Border. Okay, we will die. 
よし戦いだ苦手だけど全力で行こうかい王の話をするとしよう Great Fuck you game 星の宇宙は物のりの宇宙楽園の端から君に聞かせよう次の君の宇宙はガーデン・オブ・アバロン Make my life hard why don't you 何<laughs> oh, come on, Gil. Gil, what the fuck? <laughs> It's like, Gil, what the fuck? <laughs> nice, thank you, Gil. What's there? Okay, not bad. Could be worse. Could be way worse. In all truth. <laughs> oh, okay. Yikes. Can we not do that? Like, can we not do that and say that we did? Let's go ahead and do that. Get rid of them so we have them. Building up again. This is gonna be interesting. I feel like I'm gonna have to command spell this. There's no way. There's no way! No way. Right? Right. There's just no way. I just get that feeling that there's no way, you know, that we can do this without command spelling out of it. Alright. The big part! Here we go. I'm scared. T scared? Terrified? Yeah. Hmm. Mostly because of him. Land Lang? Not so much. I don't like that. Oh, that's a good one. 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 Oh, Let's go. Let's go. Let's fight. Let's win. Please. Okay, cool. Pog. Boy, this is gonna be this is gonna be something. Okay. Makes sense that she'd do that. Okay, well they're gonna make us fight her, pretty much. I mean, fight him. Sorry, <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, that's a that's a dude, <laughs> not her, him. But it's like, oh yeah, that's a dude. Forgot about that. <laughs> like, oh yeah, that's a dude. Oh boy. We're gonna command spell our way out of this. I just feel it. <laughs> Oh god. Could you stop? Okay, well. Okay. Alright, let's. 
Let's do this. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. Was not expecting that. Very interesting indeed. I think we might be able to do this. Come to think of it. I think we'll be okay. Hog! Okay, well, that happened. Oops. That's fine. I hope. Um. Okay, I think we're gonna be okay. Funnily enough, I think we're going to be okay. I think we're gonna be okay! Pog! Hell yeah! We're gonna be Daijobu! I was scared as fuck for this, but hey! Looks like we're go- we're- we're okay! Yay! We didn't have to command spell it! Pog! Yatta! Hurry, get away as far as you can while Kuaji Zero keeps them busy, the enemy busy. Yes, ma'am. I must say it's humiliating to find our hands so firmly tied. Well, what can we do? Advanced as it might be, the shadow board is still basically a car with a bunch of tires. We can't stop them from towing it. I suppose we should be content with the fact that Nezha was able to escape. It's fortunate for us that they are apparently completely ignorant of the spirit, spirit origin's graph's importance. Whatever you might be up to, don't bother. Try anything funny and I'll cut you where you stand. Cut you down where you stand. Here I thought you were a proud board. I'm disappointed to see you restoring to underhanded de deception and skullduggery. Say what you want, Confucian. Your words are no more than wind to me. Now that I know your Confucians, I also know better than to trust anything that comes out of your mouth. Uh, we're not Confucians. I don't know what you call it in your world, but here, anyone who tries to enlighten our people is a Confucian. Oh, come on. What good could there possibly be in giving people knowledge? Making them read books that only confuse, deceive, and delude, causing them to lose sight of what they're meant to be. You do the devil's own work. You rebels should be ashamed of yourselves, spouting ideals you don't really believe. Uh, agitating people merely to further your ambitions. I can't stand people like you. We don't actually have any ambitions like that, though. We just shared some things we knew while we were making conversation. Then you did it on a lock. That's even worse! You have no idea what will happen to the people you've tainted with your Confucianism! What was that? Okay. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, okay. We're back here. Enough, it is time. All of you leave at once. But we still haven't yet- we have yet to kill the Chaldeans. We will not punish you for your incompetence in failing to kill them. You will need merely to wait for your next opportunity. Now go. 
or you will be caught up in it. Let's go, Prince of Lan Ling. You too, Lord Xian Yu. Very well. As you wish. Okay. Fo, Fo? What the hell? Why'd they run off like that? I don't like this. The oppressor is up to something. Reviewing communications. There is little time left, I wonder. There's only one reason for the Emperor to order retreat now. The Huang is about to unleash an indiscriminate attack, then it'll wipe out the entire- Oh, great. Very good. Since you figured out this much, we shall tell you what is about to happen. We have just released a payload from our Great Wall and altered its trajectory. It will strike your location in approximately three minutes. Oh, joy. Mash help! Are you freaking nuts, you overgrown tin can? You'd really just kill your own people just to get to us? Do not think so much of yourselves. You have to quit it backwards. You've been quite backward. We only ordered our soldiers to cripple you in order that you might also be caught in the blast radius as an added bonus of sorts. You did this explicitly to destroy this village? It is what must be done to rid our land of Confucianism. Now that enlightenment has begun to spread among the people here, we are left with no choice but to nip it in the bud. A cursed tyrant! Have you so little regard for the lives of your own citizens? Silence! This land is our flesh, its people our blood. You could never understand the pain of such an action it causes us. But now that it has been infected with Confucianism, we have no choice but to carve out, carve out this piece of our flesh before the poison spreads. So this, this is Quin Shi Huang. Flee if you wish, but it is too late for the people of this village. Once you have turned tail and fled, be our guest to turn back and witness the destruction of your, your Confucianism has wrought. Damn it, this bastard's crazy than I thought. I never expected murdering but the, the Empire's own citizens to be more important than killing us. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. There it is now. It's so massive. When it hits, I don't think anything will be left of this area. What is that? Uh, an evil star. The Emperor must be furious! So the rumors about stars falling on villages that reject the Emperor's blessings were true? This can't be happening! Why would everyone be so furious? What is... What is it wrong to recite poems? Was it wrong for us to try to go to the capital? No. None of you did anything wrong. You followed your dreams in search of freedom, as anyone would. I see. Now I understand. So this is why I was summoned to this land. It was also that I could strike back against this great oppression. Spartacus? Sarah, you have yet to become an oppressor. Now is the time for you to demonstrate your authority. What do you want me to do? Use a command spell on me. Use it and say one word. Only one word. Jump. Hop, step, jump, boo. Do, draw, draw. Chip, sir, white, boo. Who I wanna be. <laughs> okay. Sorry, that song just came into my head. If y'all know where that song is from, bonus points. Alright. Now I get it. Crying warmonger. What'd you just say? We normally have no way to defend against our... Uh, or destroy something as utterly destructive as a meteor strike. But Spartacus' noble phantasm changes to match what he was up against. The more powerful the attack, the stronger his resulting counterattack will be. If he could do that in the air, before the meteor has a chance to strike, he might just be able to destroy it before it hits the ground. Whoa! What did, wait a damn minute! 
Are you supposed to be fly up there and let that thing hit him? Not to worry, such tremendous adversity is published for showing off the strength of my rebellion! You can't! It will completely annihilate your spirit origin! Ha ha ha! We won't know until I've tried! Regardless, there's no time to debate the matter. We don't have long before that wicked star arrives. Senpai! By my command spell. Jump Spartacus! Ah! I feel it! I can feel the power of our bond flowing within me! Young Sir, this is for you! He really jumped! Flow! That's no ordinary leap. He's being propelled by a truly massive eruption of magical energy. There he goes! Now it's the time for my legs to rebel against gravity! Humans, open your eyes and turn your gaze upwards! This leap is the very pinnacle of liberation! It is the irrational act that will triumph over this adversity! The wings of freedom! Jiyu Su... Suyaba! Subasa! Jiyu Su... Subasa! Isn't that the thing from Attack on Titan? Sasageo, Sasageo, Shinwo, Sasageo, Subete da Niaiwo, da 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 da! Alright. If this meteor, if this star means to oppress the sky itself, then I too shall become a star. A rebellious morning star that lights the world below. He really didn't take it head on. No. Damn it! Why did he crash right into it? He could have deflected or something, so he wouldn't get so hurt. No, he was prepared for this. For his Noah Phantasm to be at its most powerful, he would need to be at his most gravely injured. Ha 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 ha! Super Mother She! This pain is honor. This pain is life. I can feel my love about to explode! War cry overload! Thanks, Spartacus! This can't be right! Where did these people get a surface to air weapon? No, I have no such weapon. This must be the work of one of the heroic spirits. Remember the site well, Hanzin. This is the true face of our enemies, our army's new enemy. Oh. Nice. Thanks, Spartacus. Arigato gozaimashita. Incredible. The entire mass is completely is, is, uh, is completely evaporating. He really did it. Where is he now? There, I can see him falling back down. Oh, he's still alive? Question mark. That big dumbass. Is he still alive? Oh, hello, rebellious knight. Did you catch me in those twiggly arms of yours? Cut the crap. All the people you stirred up like ja like a jackass were watching you, you know. You can't just smash face first into the ground, monkhead. You're supposed to at least land on your feet. Yeah, a superhero landing. Hell, you shouldn't be falling at all. You're supposed to land properly, no matter what. Yeah, superhero landing. That's that's just what you gotta do, all right? These wounds are they're probably fatal. Yes, I'm afraid Spartacus' spirit origin isn't going to last much- Yep, thought so. Ha <laughs> ha, your words cut deep, Knight of Camelot. I expected as much from the manifest- Manliest man of the Knights of the Round Table. Well, who are you calling a man? Ain't freaking fair saying shit like that at a time like this. 
You're not beat to hell. No more left for me to even punch you. Go ahead. I'm sure your punch would feel most pleasant. Are you gonna die, Spartacus? <laughs> of course not. Spartacus will never truly die. Not as long as you keep the light of rebellion alive within your heart, young Midoriya. That is all I ask, my friends. Sayonara! One for all and all for one! <laughs> uh, Spartacus there just felt like All Might the entire time. Spartacus, I can't believe he did all that to save us. I'm not gonna cry. I mustn't. Spartacus, he never stopped smiling. No matter how much he hurt. Kid. I'm gonna get strong enough that I can smile through anything too. So I can be somebody else's Spartacus one day. Well, as long as I, and whoever comes after me keeps smiling, Spartacus will always live on. Now I get it. So this is his real rebellion. Something is wrong with the spear origin graph. It's hot, very hot. What? Don't tell me it's broken! No, it's not that. It's reacting to the ley line. What? But I thought that didn't work in this last belt. That's it. There's prayer here now. Hope has finally blossomed in these people's hearts, connecting this world to the throne of heroes. Pog! Yes, this land is no longer cut off from the throne of heroes. Heroic spirits have heard the wishes of people lacking their own voice and are about to pay them a visit. Pog. Thank you, Spartacus. Oh, it's you. Uh, okay. Hmm, this air smells familiar. And I think I recognize those far off mountains as well. It would seem we've been invited to our homeland, although something seems off. I don't see a single sign of war anywhere, nor do I see anyone resembling a master. Well, I suppose this means we've gone rogue, so to speak. Oh, red hair. Penny. I was kind of looking forward to that whole spiel when you get to do when you first meet your master. Well now, where do I even begin? Why do you look like that? What do you mean? Now it's with Lu Bu look. What? What other heroic spirit could possibly be fit to summon alongside the great Chen Gong than Lu Bu, the flying general? But you're obviously red hair. Lu Bu is a man among men, and red hair is an amongst as a horse among horses? <laughs> Everyone knows that we were inseparable during our adventures. I am what they call an innocent monster. Oh look, a carrot. Oh god. <laughs> a yummy carrot! Where? Hmm, I knew it. You are red hair. Nonsense, I'm Lubu! Okay then. Weird champ. Pause champ. Weird champ. <laughs> that happened. What the fuck? <laughs> well then. That was interesting. <laughs> Next time. Dashing through 100,000 Lee. I hope you guys enjoyed this part and I'll see you guys in a Let's Play video I do next is, okay? Bye! I believe